live your life like you're the hero in your movie. And right now, you're in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a fucking loser. And just decide not to be a loser anymore. Live your life like there's a documentary crew following you around and you are analyzing your own behavior. Do what you would want to do so that your kids one day would look back at it and, and, and see that documentary and look on it with pride. Like, wow, my dad was a bad motherfucker. He really did what he had to do. Wow, my mom really got her shit together. You gotta think that you are the hero in your own fucking movie and then you gotta sit down and you gotta write shit down. No one sees what time you get up, no one sees what time you go to sleep, no one sees how many books you read. No one sees how many calls you make in a day, no one sees that. But the same goes for the people that don't make it. No one sees that you're not working. No one sees that you took the whole day off. No one sees that you're sitting home watching TV. No one sees that you're watching Wheel of Fortune early in the morning. No one sees that you're not really working that hard. No one sees that. Only you know that. Only you see that. But there's a key. Anything worthwhile takes sacrifice, effort, and time. Anything. It takes a while. Listen, this is what it comes down to. And it looks like it's easy for you to receive because you, you have your ego. You have to believe in yourself. You have Definitely. To no, you have to believe that you're here for a purpose to enrich the world. No, you have to believe this deep down. Side. This is why I'm born. This is why you're across from me. Definitely. No. And the person who, when, once, you, once you receive that, that level of confidence, you know what I mean, and it's practiced properly, it was surpass a genius. There's nothing more supreme than confidence. Confidence breeds success, and success breeds confidence. Applied properly, you're inconquerable. See, the thing about life, we're going to die, right? Eventually, we're going to die. But our legacy can live on. The impact can be non-perishable forever. But it's got to be built right. And we've got to take advantage of the time we have right now. If you want it bad enough, you find a way. If you don't want it bad enough, you find an excuse. It's called the body weight beatdown. You don't need any weights for it. You don't need, you don't need a gym membership. You don't need any, any barbells. You don't need any equipment. All you need is this motherfucker. That's your weight, your body weight.